another way we can play around with this API, this or this online inference API without making an API call is using no code interactions. So here we're going to create some no code UI that we can layer on top of this block. Because this block has a few variables that it can intake. And those variables correspond to bond features. To. So here we're adding a variable for DO location. And it's a it's an integer. So we'll check off integer. And we can add an input. So let's do a checkbox for this. And we can add a few values. So we'll pre-fill some values, 239, 170, and a bunch of other random values just to see how the model performs. Okay, we'll save that. As you can see, there's a UI. Okay, let's go add the PU location as the next variable. Give it a label, give it a description, and this data type is an integer. Let's give it a, another input. Let's give it a drop down, and we'll add some possible values that the end user can choose from. And these interactions, you know, they can be used by non-engineers non on your team that may want to play with it or get some predictions. And here you go, there's a dropdown. And last, let's add a variable for the trip distance. Give it a label, give it a description, and this is a float. And we'll give it an input, a text field, but we'll make the text field be numbers only. So we can check that off and save that. And now we're done.